Hi guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC, and I'm here with one of my favorite EVs, the Kia EV9. This giant SUV is a people mover. It can pack seven people in, it's got a great size battery and an even better range. And I'm gonna give you a really good understanding of the battery sizes, the charging speeds, as well as the range, and help you understand how to charge this car. So let's get started. <music> So let's get into the Kia EV9, the battery, and as well as the range. Now it comes in three models. There's an Air, which has a standard range battery of 76.1 kilowatts, and that gives you 443 kilometers of range, which is really nice. You then have the Earth, which comes with the long range 99.8 kilowatt hour battery, and that gives you 512 kilometers of range. And then the final model is the GT line. That also comes with a 99.8 kilowatt battery, but gives you 505 kilometers of range. However, I've been driving the EV9 around Sydney and I've noticed that it actually is really, really good on its range. And you might possibly be surprised that it gives you a little bit more range than is being advertised right here. So let's get into the charging specs. So let's look at how we actually charge this car. So the port is here on the driver's side at the back. You simply just click that button there and it opens up really nicely. And you can see here, there's actually a couple of buttons. The first button is your close button. So if I press that button, this will close. And then the second button is a schedule override button. So sometimes you wanna set a schedule because it's got a big battery. You may wanna use off peak. You wanna charge during the day, during solar and so forth. But sometimes you go to a public charge and you forget you've set your schedule. So if you hold that button, it will override the schedule and start charging your car. So from a port perspective, there's two sections. You see that top section here, and then at the bottom you can undo this, and that's your DC charging section. So it's really important to note that this has the CCS2 plug, which is perfect. At the top is your AC charging. Okay, so that's for when you're using the portable charger, at home charging, or sometimes those small chargers you find at the shopping centers, that's the port you use. When you wanna use the fast DC charging, that's when you open this up and they're the more petrol station like experiences. Those are the big ones that you see on the highways at big shopping centers and that gives you a super fast charge. So now let's talk about what you get with the car for charging and also really run you through the charging speeds from the portable charger, a kind of home charging experience as well as DC charging. Now what you get with the car is this portable charger and it's a really nice bag, I quite appreciate it. And these plug into a standard household outlet. But please note, these charge at about 1.8 to 2 kilowatts per hour. So you really need a long time. Remember these have a 76 or a 99.8 kilowatt battery. So you're looking at about um, almost 40 hours to 50 hours of charging to fully charge this. So unless you're not really driving much or driving it once a week, this may not cut it for most people. With the GT line, you also get that very cool V to L adapter so that you can kind of use the car to power your other household out, uh, appliances as well, which is cool. If you don't have the GT line, you can purchase that as an accessory from Kia. So from a charging speed perspective, if the portable is not gonna cut it, and that's most people, you're gonna wanna install either a home charger or use public infrastructure. And for those, no matter what, Kia variant you have, all three of them will charge at AC single phase at seven kilowatts or three phase at 10.5 kilowatts. And that means a nice overnight charge for basically anyone who gets a Kia home charger installed. All right, now from a DC charging perspective, it's slightly different. So in the air, which is the, the standard range battery, you have a DC charging speed of 235 kilowatts. That's ultra fast speed. That's some of the fastest speeds available in Australia. And that's due to the architecture of the battery being the latest generation. This vehicle is gonna age incredibly well, no matter what variant you buy. So when you then plug in on a DC charger, if you're using a 350 kilowatt charger, the 10% to 80% mark is gonna be about 20 minutes. That's really quick. If you're on a highway, that's one stop and shot. Okay, now if you get the Earth and the GT line, which have the longer range batteries, that actually has a DC charging speed of 210 kilowatts. And it means a 10% to 80% battery charging using a 350 kilowatt charger will be 24 minutes. Again, that's super quick. You're gonna be out and about really fast. That's why I love the Kia. Not only is it a good size, a good battery, but it charges quickly and it's gonna age really well. You're not gonna have massive devaluation on this car like some other EVs may experience. 
So I've plugged in here and you can do a lot on the screen. I always like an EV that actually shows you charging speed here at the top. So it's just charging uh, close to 10.5 kilowatts. I've got one hour and 10 minutes remaining to be fully charged. My battery's at 90%, I'll put it right here to 100%. You can just toggle this up and down. I've got 518 kilometers of range already and I believe this thing is gonna max out about five, 576. And that's where I was discussing, I think you're gonna get a little bit more range than they're advertising here. Uh, then importantly, of course, uh, on the next screen here, you can start seeing some uh, information about the battery status and you can also uh, look at your scheduling. So a lot of information here makes it really nice, makes it easy to use. So there you go, everything that you need to know to charge the Kia EV9. It's a true luxury EV, it's got seven seats and it's unique in the industry. I can't wait personally to own one of these, I think they're a fantastic car. But if you ever need any advice on charging both at home, work or on the go, reach out to the EVSC. On behalf of the team, bye for now.